Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to go over a specific application for baseball. Uh, today we'll actually be talking about breaking balls with a runner on third. So when a runner is on third base throwing breaking balls, that's pitches like sliders, curveballs, slurves, you get the idea. Throwing them is risky because of the ball is more likely to go past the catcher and score a run, either on a wild pitch or a passed ball. So throwing sliders or breaking balls is a risky behavior when there's a runner on third base. It doesn't matter if the ball goes past the catcher when there's no runners on, nothing happens if that's the case, but if there's a runner on third base, the runner will be able to run home and score if the ball gets past the catcher, which is a bad thing for the pitcher, a good thing for the batter. Now the question I have to ask is, how does this dynamic affect each other, each of the players' optimal behaviors? So I'm going to just draw up a very simple game here. Um, I'm going to limit the pitches to just a fastball and a slider. doesn't matter if we add more breaking balls into the mix, like if we add a fastball, a slider, and a curveball. All of these results are going to follow very straightforward um, from what I'm going to be saying here. Now. The batter is going to guess fastball or slider. The pitcher is going to pitch a fastball or a slider. If the batter guesses correctly, then he gets one point and the pitcher loses a point. And if the batter guesses incorrectly, then nothing happens. It's zeros all the way around. Now, this is actually a game of matching pennies. We know what the equilibrium of this game is. It's for the players to mix just like that, one half, one half. So this is going to require a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, which makes sense. Each one of these players has to be random in their strategies, otherwise the other one is going to capitalize on a pattern if the batter is always guessing a fastball and the pitcher is always going to throw a slider, and if the pitcher is always throwing a slider, then the batter is always going to guess a slider, and so forth. We've, we've covered that in the past, so we know what the equilibrium is for this game. But now we want to look at it with a runner on third base. So with the runner on third base, what I've done is added X to the batter's payoff whenever the pitcher throws a slider, and I've subtracted X from the pitcher's payoff whenever the the pitcher throws a slider. The idea here is that there's some risk that if the pitcher throws a slider, the ball will go past the catcher, the runner will score from third, which is going to hurt the pitcher and benefit the batter, essentially the offense here. So like I said, you can compare between these two slides. You see that all I've done is added X and subtracted X, uh, added X to player one's uh, payoffs, subtracted X from player two's payoffs whenever the pitcher throws a slider. So there is that. Now, to go about solving this game, let's first assume that X is greater than one. Then what is going to happen here is that fastball will strictly dominate slider for the pitcher. So we see that this negative one will be greater than this negative X. And this zero, of course, is greater than negative one minus X. So if that's the case, and the pitcher always throws fastballs, and knowing that the batter always guesses fastball. The idea here is that the pitcher is extremely wild, or the catcher is just completely incompetent, and so the pitcher would never want to throw a slider just because it's so darn risky to throw a slider. Now, substantively, I don't think this is a very interesting case, especially at the major league level. Unless you have an emergency catcher behind the plate, or you have put a position player on the mound, then you're not really going to see this in Major League Baseball. So this is a bit of an extreme case. I'm actually much more interested in this case here where X is less than 1. And unfortunately, there isn't a strictly dominated strategy. In this case, it's going to require solving for mixed strategy Nash equilibria. There is no pure strategy Nash equilibrium here for X is less than 1. So let's go about looking for that mixed strategy. Let's begin by solving for the batter's mixed strategy. We ask ourselves, what is the expected utility of the pitcher throwing a fastball as a pure strategy? And we're going to label that as a a function of some mixed strategy for the batter where the batter guesses fastball with probability sigma. So some percentage of the time the pitcher gets negative one, the rest of the time she gets zero, or excuse me, he gets zero. Um, and so the expected utility for the pitcher always throwing a fastball is sigma times negative one plus one minus sigma times zero. Now if the pitcher is always throwing a slider, then the expected utility is still going to be some sort of function of that same sigma. So some percentage of the time the pitcher gets negative x, the rest of the time he gets negative 1 minus x. So the expected utility of always throwing a slider for the pitcher is sigma times negative x plus 1 minus sigma times negative 1 minus x. To solve for the batter's mixed strategy, we set these two expect expected utilities for the pitcher equal to each other. We have the expected utilities written out there. We put them together, and then we solve for sigma. Here is a bunch of algebra that I've simplified. It ultimately goes down to that. And then once we actually solve for sigma by dividing negative 2 from both sides, we get sigma equals 1 plus x over 2. And you'll notice that this is actually going to be greater than 1 half. So once we've thrown a runner onto third base, what's going to happen is that the batter 
batter will actually be guessing fastball more frequently than he did before because this mixed strategy here, this one plus X over two is greater than one half whenever X is greater than zero, which is something that we've assumed. So now let's look at the pitcher's mixed strategy. Well, what is the expected utility of the batter guessing a fastball? It's gonna be labeled as a function of the pitcher uh, throwing a fastball, which we have called sigma here again. So some percentage of the time the batter gets one and the rest of the time he gets X. And so the expected utility of the batter guessing a fastball as a pure strategy is sigma times one plus one minus sigma times X. And then we have to ask ourselves, what's the expected utility of the batter throwing a slider? And that's gonna be a function of the pitcher throwing a fastball, which is that same sigma as before. So some percentage of the time the batter gets zero, the rest of the time he gets one plus X. The expected utility of the batter always guessing slider is therefore sigma times zero plus one minus sigma uh, yeah, times one plus X. So once again, we set those two expected utilities equal to each other to solve for the pitcher's mixed strategy. We have the expected utilities for both of those written right there so we simply combine them together and then through a little bit more algebra we get to two sigma equals one we solve for sigma we get sigma equals one half and surprisingly this did not change so before without anyone on third base the pitcher was throwing a fastball with probability one half now with a runner on third base surprisingly the pitcher's behavior hasn't changed he's still going to be throwing uh, fastballs and he's still going to be throwing sliders at the exact same frequency as he was before so in the equilibrium the batter guesses fastball more frequently than slider and the pitcher throws a fastball or throws fastballs and sliders with equal frequency so what's going on here well from our perspective the batter is sort of acting risk averse he guesses fastball more often since the runner scores on a slider sometimes anyway so if he's always guessing fastball or if he's guessing fastball a little bit more frequently than he's guessing a slider of course he's not going to always guess a fastball i misspoke a little bit there if he always guesses a fastball then the pitcher is going to want to throw that slider provided that x is less than one um, but that being said, um, the batter is accepting on, on getting slider wrong and not guessing slider and, and, and being wrong when a slider is thrown more often just because he knows that if the pitcher does risk throwing a slider, then he'll get some benefit from that some percentage of the time anyway. So the batter really is, is displaying a risk averse behavior from our perspective. Now, on the other hand, the pitcher is remaining unpredictable, and the reason for that is because if he doesn't, if he starts to throw a pitcher, or, sorry, starts to throw a fastball or a slider with increasingly increasing frequency, then the batter will take advantage by switching to guessing that pitch uh, with certainty. So effectively, the pitcher is surprisingly ignoring the runner on third, which is something we might not have expected. And in the next video, we'll actually look at whether the batter is uh, more successful on average when there is a runner on third or when the bases are empty. So join me in that video.